Perhaps the most obvious change in 2.0 is the completely redesigned interface. We took the old 1.9 MPC UI and thoroughly overhauled it. The new UI is more streamlined, more logical, easier to use, faster, and as you can see, it looks awesome. You'll quickly spot the major changes. A new clearly laid out toolbar at the top houses our expanded transport controls, including new punch and record facilities. The central info display, a streamlined and configurable mode selection area, and various useful options including tap tempo, master volume, and other quick settings. The left-hand inspector is a persistent panel that gives pervasive access to the setup of the current sequence, track, and program. These new panels are dynamic and allow you to choose how much or how little information you want on screen at once. You can also quickly collapse and expand each section as required. The inspector also houses a context-sensitive pair of mixer strips. You can switch these between the current program and master channel, current pad in this program, and current track in this program. You can switch them in the status bar at the bottom of the window. Here you can also show and hide the inspector entirely, as well as toggle the on-screen MIDI keyboard and whether the editor is shown maximized in the main window. The right-hand side of the window now contains a vastly enhanced content browser section. In here you'll find the file browser and the expansion browser you already know, both given a facelift and a few extra new tricks. The file browser has gained a search field so you can narrow down the directory listing quickly. The browser panel also houses improved project information and undo redo history pages. It's also the home for our new quick help panel which will help you get up to speed on the new 2.0 interface. But the most exciting enhancement in the 2.0 browser is our new media browser. This provides a quick visual way to search through your installed content, be it samples, programs, patterns, or project, filtering both by pack and via our new categorized tag cloud. It's a quick and fun way to dig right into your content. The media browser also has a search field to make browsing faster. We've reworked all the editors too. They're more consistent, more useful, and they're better looking. Where you see a grid editor, you can choose to view an inline sample waveform editor instead. This allows you to quickly view and adjust what you're playing, trim the sample start and end points, or adjust audio warp settings without changing the screen. MIDI grids now show a pad color for clarity. And now where you see a timeline in the editor, be it a MIDI track or an audio region, you can quickly adjust the zoom level by dragging up or down on the timeline. The main window area is split in two, top to bottom. An editor always sits on the top, with various extension panes below. A new divider bar sits in between with controls to toggle which panes are visible at any time. Every page is able to show the Q-Link panel and the Pads panel. These show you what the hardware controls will do in each mode. Then there are additional panels available depending on the MPC mode selected. For example, the Project Info panel, our wonderful reworked Program Editor panels, the Sample Edit panels, and so on. This allows you to tailor your interface exactly as you want it. There are many more interface refinements throughout the app, including configurable mode buttons, new keyboard shortcuts, and much more. With this new UI and more productive workflow, you'll fall in love with your MPC all over again.